you said before, like got it cancelled in a way. Yeah. So I, I, <laughs> I, I think the internet cancelled that okay. jump. Okay. You think it got 2024? I think the internet did. I think. And why do you think it was just a PR nightmare for Red Bull? Should anything happen? Or well, it's it... interesting, isn't it? Because. Um... <laughs> Hey, welcome to the show. We got the MTB podcast, and you're listening to the Ride Companion. <laughs> Terrible click. Terrible. I've done that a few times, dude. Tried yeah, to shake. I just it. need to just. Yeah, I want to do it one handed, but it doesn't really Gangs work. Gangster, if you one hand it. Yeah, one more it? go. Nah. Oh, okay. I'm stupid again. And we. <laughs> it makes me think of um, when people do the thing with a shotgun. Yeah. You ever shot a shotgun? Great ever, start ever to the episode. Yeah, by let's the get way. straight back in. Ever yeah. shot a shotgun? Have I ever shot a sh- no? Can't say I've you will have. I've shot a shotgun, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Who did you shoot? Or what no, did you I, shoot? I um I've I, what have I shot with a shotgun? I've shot rabbits and I've shot um pi- pigeons like like dove. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I've, but we love animals. We love animals. Yeah, well we have to control them on a farm and yeah, and, and um this was this was years ago. My my friends my best friend's cousin had a farm and it was so cool i'd just go there all the time and we'd do these like amazing activities like killing things and yeah but yeah yeah yeah, like killing things but i mean you no you're right if you have have a farm you have to control it yeah you do dude you do you do well (laughs) (laughs) i feel like i've upset you that i kill things but but we used to eat all of the things that we killed squirrel yeah you eat rabbits yeah you, you, have, you never eaten a rabbit? Mm, not sure if I've ever eaten rabbit. I'm not sure, you know. I don't know. I mean, I've been with a, a vegetarian slash vegan girlfriend for like 10 years. So it's like, mm. it's frowned upon, stuff like that. What, eating? Uh, <laughs> do you, you still eat meat though, don't you? No, I don't. Never. <laughs> 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 Should we start again? <laughs> no, keep going. Please. <laughs> You're right. No, I don't. <laughs> You're right. You don't. Ever. Any, right. Look, we've, we've veered okay. off course. This was the, the mountain bike episode. <laughs> we veered two. drastically off course. We, we've Okay, let's we've pretend brought, yeah. we're reversing hard out of that. Beep, 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 beep. Yeah, we're out of there. Yeah. I needed this start, dude. I'll be honest. Yeah. I had loser, I've had had loser, loser vibes for a few days. That's what I call them. Loser vibes? What's, loser what's vibes loser come vibes over then? every few months and they just sit on top of my head. Talk me through loser behind vibes, my eyes. Dude. And everything you f- you feel like, everything you're going to do, everything you've done in the past, all of it's shit. Loser vibes. Is that what you call it, loser vibes? You I feel that way? Vibes. I'm sorry to you. Yeah, yeah I call it loser vibes. So I needed a bit of a, what? you know, there's low energy coming into this, but it's what all good. What made you feel that you caught loser vibes? Is it like... It's hard to explain, man. It's like, it just comes over you sometimes. Really? Yeah. It's not yeah. like a series. It's can not have, anything. It's not a thing. Like, I can have just, a few swings and misses. Yeah. And I feel loser vibes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Ebbs and a flows, few. isn't it? A few, a, a few simultaneously. I need a home run every now and then. Yeah. <laughs> I need it. A little yeah, pat yeah, on the yeah. back. Yeah, bit definitely. Of... You be, I, I don't know, man. It comes and goes sometimes and it, it came and then I was a bit like, mm, I don't really know if we're coming down here is the right idea, but we're here and we're having fun. So that's good. Oh, I'm sorry to hear you got need, loser need, vibes. Nah, it's what I call it now. I, I don't know what the technical term is, but loser vibes works for me. Loser vibes, I think, is a great way of, yeah. yeah just, I just, you, I, I, I know Because vibes mean. come and go, so you just like, it's loser vibes for now, but like, yeah from tomorrow or later or even now it's gone so it just takes time for it to pass yeah and it does pass and i've learned that over the years that it does pass but sometimes it will pass sometimes it just comes up and gets you dude and you're just like oh everything i'm doing it's crap this is crap it's all crap but yeah so hopefully people enjoy what we do we're certainly enjoying it today so yeah (laughs) definitely (laughs) definitely (laughs) yeah i I do fully understand what you mean i've actually taken a, a step towards like um getting a business coach i think so it's actually quite interesting i think because um uh, maybe for some of our listeners i've never had a business coach in my life like i've never i always think like oh if i need a business coach then you're doing something wrong or whatever but i spoke to a friend a mutual friend of ours and i was explaining like how i was not so much feeling but like it just feels like things are just out of control like there's no direction and like similar to you like you know i do a lot through the week a lot of di- there's a lot of different hats been worn hopefully not this one fucking uncomfy but like there's a lot of different hats get worn and sometimes you have loser vibes comes and then you're like i'm bad at all of it so yeah. he was like hey you should just 
get a like a businessy coach who can just help you like find direction and stuff. I feel that's what I need. Direction again. And also, it's like we're halfway through the year, man. Okay, I'm, I changed the tone here. I'm so sorry. But like, we're halfway through the year. And that seems to have crept up. And I think that gave me loser vibes the other day when I realized we were halfway through the year. And I was like, oh my God, we're halfway through the year. Do you not, do you think about time like that? Or is it, is this just me sometimes? I, I feel like you're, way, you're, you're, you're like more present, aren't you? You're yeah. like, you're in it. Like, I'd say I, that's I'm simple. not, I'm definitely not immune to loser vibes yeah. before I continue. I'm not yeah. saying I'm not, but certainly I'm not going to get worried about like a number. I don't even care about, like my birthday yeah. doesn't exist. No, I'm no, a, no, I'm a, no. I'm a, I'm a crappy hairless ape. You know what I mean? I've taken, like matter. from getting to know you more over the years, <laughs> I definitely have taken way more of that attitude. But then every now and again, I'm just like, oh my God, like, we're six months into a year. Not that any of it matters. It's all made up. I know that. I appreciate it. it's all made up. But I'm just like, oh my God, we're six months into a year. And I've had all these these lists that I do at the end of the year. Like, I want to do this. I want to achieve that. See, that's, that's what gives me loser vibes. Because then I'm like, oh, actually, on paper, loser. Look, I... I I completely get the lists and I get, I think having a goal is really helpful and working yeah. towards it. Absolutely. Because you can get, you can get loser vibes off like not having a goal. Feeling yeah, goalless yeah, yeah, is yeah, a loser yeah, vibe yeah, thing. So, yeah, yeah. so therefore, what's the opposite of that? Have goals. Have goals. But like, if the goals are too crazy, like I remember hearing some of your um, New Year's resolutions. Yeah, like Lamborghinis and stuff. They're instead, <laughs> your, <laughs> dude, your, your New Year's resolutions are insane. They're like, I'm going to, Backflip, learn to play the piano, get a Lamborghini. You're like, it's quite a lot. Quite a big job on dog. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> like I, I um, I think it, I think it's hard. I think that I I went and watched um, R Ramesh in the O2. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And wow. Had, I don't know if you're meant to talk about like comedians bits. I think yeah. I, I don't know if he listens. He definitely won't listen, and he doesn't care. Yeah. But I don't know if you're meant to as like a practice whether yeah, it's a bad. Sorry. I think if you were a comedian, it might be different. Yeah, which I'm definitely not. But anyway, Sometimes. he talked. He talked about something that really resonated. And it was just about how like everything in life is about like smashing it out of the park. You know, mm. the kind of like get up at four, run a hundred miles, do this in business, smash it out of the park, do this, goal, 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 goal. But it's also like his like Ramesh is the whole point of the bit. I won't ruin it, but the point is. You don't have to do anything. You do what you want. Yeah. You don't have to. You, yeah. you, just being is enough. It is. You are enough. It is. <laughs> you are think, enough. <laughs> it, mate, it's so true. And sometimes I think um, you need to hear it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like I, I was thinking on the drive here, like, so one thing I've not done for a while and happy to admit, it's like, I've not like just hung out with a, like a group of just l mates and lads. I've not done it for a bit because I, I think like my friendship group's kind of like separated off a little bit and I was driving down and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to put the message out there and just be like camping trip one night with the boys and just get those vibes back a little bit because the loser vibes has taken over a bit at the moment. I need the good vibes and that it's okay vibes back. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Dude, hundred percent. A lot of people. But I think that's our age. I think, yeah. and probably a lot of people that listen to podcast. Yeah. Ages we'll, of we'll, as well. we'll know that you get to a certain age though and, and like having like a wolf pack of mates is ve very good yeah uh, for me anyway yeah, yeah, yeah. that stopped me looking at the world even yeah I'm in a bubble i've i've I'm, i really appreciate i've lived in a bubble for most most of my life really yeah. and it's only at this point now that you're like whoa it's harder to hang out with people like i'm going places on my own and doing mm. these like weird things and not everyone's up for changes it does change, doesn't it? I know you are all ultimate present, but do you think about like that getting older thing? Dude, of course. Yeah, I'm not yeah, like good. I'm not like <laughs> You're not too stoic. You're not that great. I'm well stoic. no, I'm not like a dog. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? I, yeah. I I think about it an awful lot. Yeah. An awful lot. But yeah. then I also think there's wisdom in not thinking about 100%, it. Hundred percent. But I think if you get a touch of the loser vibes, then you think you're about it the all abyss. more. God, more and more and more abyss, and more. Dude. Yeah, I know. Yeah, just, mate, it's passing. It's already pass, passing, which is nice. I, that's why I was like, I need to just come down here and do what I actually enjoy doing, which is absolutely like, hanging out and doing this. So and laughing, man, laughing, yeah, and laughing, the, exactly, laughing, exactly, the thing, exactly. Dude. I've, I've, I've just come back from um, Slovenia for. Uh, I've been away with a uh, with Jono, Rue yeah. Fowler, um, uh, Alex, and Anne, 
And so this group of us were traveling around Slovenia and honestly, I've laughed so hard and, uh, yeah, no doubt loser vibes take me. Yeah. My loser vibes are often linked to um, interest rates and just things that are completely separate to my life, but I, I allow them to get me and yeah. make me worry about stuff and make me worry about the world and what's going on. And I think uh, everyone has a touch of their loser vibes. Everyone can't does. All, you know, you Definitely. Can't, you can't go through life without the loser vibes. Sometimes. In fact, one of the best things about... The, the best things to think about when you have loser vibes is the fact that the happiest person that you've ever met probably has had loser vibes at some stage as well so very true but it's very true but yeah going out on this trip just made me think about what things are important yeah what's important three things laughing for me is so important number one's laughing yeah less less stuff anything yeah less nice i like that just one just stop worrying about it let worry about it less don't you don't need anything <laughs> you don't work whatever yeah. you think you want it's just mind rot yeah what, everything that you've been told that's negative it might affect you oh, i don't know <laughs> <laughs> i don't know though you're sort of a hairless ape knocking about aren't you in the woods it's yeah, not definitely. like i like we, i've been getting in my own head about it man like so coming up this weekend it'll be after this episode comes out but like we're going to download festival courtesy of liquid death nice me and emma nice. are going right which is really cool Ooh, but- ah! <laughs> exactly was that, was that quite good that's what you said yeah no, yeah, yeah, yeah. no, no me stoked on that <laughs> um but like i've just been in my own head about it and, and that's when i know i've got loser vibes because the like a few years ago me would be like yeah cool we'll just go and we'll just like come do whatever and mosh the new me's like mosh? i don't want it uh we'll see how we go <laughs> We might throw some windmills around. Really, yeah. Not that windmill. I go out. If I mosh, I can't go out do that windmill in a, in a mosh bit. I if try and find the smallest. Bit, you'll don't get do that windmill. Yeah. Don't be windmilling in a mosh bit, dude. No. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. But yeah, it's, I've been like just in my own head about like, oh, I don't want to camp, and I'm like, oh, just let it go. Just take the brakes off every now and again. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Just what are you what are you worried about camping? Mate, you tell me. I just get in my own head about it. I'm just like anxious about it. I don't know what it even is. Traffic. Who? The, what the fuck's going on, man? Like, I'm like, oh, there's be a, be a lot of traffic. There's a yeah. 50, 50 zone going into Donington. Emma, Emma was like, what the hell are you talking about? Like, who cares? Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, who's having the dogs? Who's having the cat? Which is actually our legit it's, worries. But like, you know, it's stupid. I know, I know it's, it's stupid. stupid worrying about interest and rates. And it passes. Loser vibes, dude. Loser like, vibes. Like, I know it's stupid. I yeah. know it's stu- you. It doesn't matter if you know it's stupid or not. You can't help it. It's still you're still loser vibing over the interest rate or the traffic. Yeah, you still you're still worried about it. Yeah, I didn't really experience any form of what I would consider anxiety. Anxiety in its modern use, I think of as being like it's sort of like an, a general feeling. It's not a targeted th- feeling. It's easy for me to be like. Oh, I'm worried that you're going to knock over my drink down there, right? Mm. That makes sense to me. That's a that's yeah. a normal. That's yeah. an anxiety that I've known all my life. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Don't knock that over. That's that's precious, or that's going to ruin the carpet. Mm. Like anxiety, where you're just like, oh, I can't feel good. That that's a more that for me personally is something that I've only really experienced older. Yeah, yeah, more. yeah, definitely. Same, definitely. But then it like it almost sometimes makes it worse because then you think. I don't know, like, you don't remember having it when you're younger? Yeah. I, I don't know if, you know, people do when they're younger have anxiety and stuff. I definitely never did. I was I'd very, like, in the moment and just, like, living life and not really worrying too much. And money wasn't even ever a thing and, like, blah, 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 blah. Whereas all of it, like, the last, last, like, yeah, I don't really know. I don't really, I couldn't really put a number on it, but I'd say, like, the last, like, five or six years probably has been a bit more, like, yeah, you worry about more things, right? Yeah, I, I think that's very normal. Normal. Yeah, I do. You I probably know more and you're probably yeah. less driven. Probably the reality of it is you're probably less driven by all these chemicals and testosterone and all this stuff that, yeah. you know, for a large portion of you. Like I was a complete crazy person when I was younger. <laughs> it's weird actually. When I actually think about what I was like when I was younger, I was mega, mega, mega shy. Right. Really shy as a little kid. Right. Then got confident through sports and whatever, but finding that I was okay at stuff. And then through teenage years, just, thought i knew everything right not i wasn't like a bad person or anything no. but like in my own head i was just like dude i know i'm you know what i mean yeah. i'm master of my own universe i'm i'm good yeah i'm gonna work it out i'm gonna travel the world do whatever whatever i want i'm gonna do 720s it's definitely helped i'll do 720s well. yeah it has helped but then 
he like gave you confidence to go out. Yeah, so then I felt like I did like zoomies for a long time. Yeah. After I became confident, I was like like a dog with zoomies for yeah. a long time. And I think that just the zoomies run out, dude. You can't <laughs> zoomie forever. You got you turn into a grown up, I guess. Oh. Yeah, maybe. And yeah. then you just start worrying about things you more. You do. Yeah, you do. And there's nothing wrong with it. Everyone does it. No, there isn't anything wrong with it. But sometimes it's nice just to say it. <laughs> so you know yeah. it's been, you've been silly, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Definitely been a little I'm, bit silly. I'm glad I had zoomies for a long time. I'm glad I didn't. And to anyone that can't have the zoomies, try and get the zoomies because... Yeah. It's good. I think there's a major issue as well. Like, yeah, the Zoom is, is good, but like, <laughs> there's a major issue too. It's like when you do get lose vibes or something, maybe you turn more inward, like to a phone, like social media, and that just like makes it way worse. I definitely yeah. do that. I've noticed recently, I'm like, why am I fucking scrolling this thing again? That thing's like, good for nothing, man. No, it isn't, is it though? <laughs> it's like, it's just got worse recently. I'm about the first stage is knowing about it, isn't it? It's like, you know, it's. Yeah. You've been stupid. Like, why am I just looking at this thing and going, like, oh, look where that person is, look what that person's doing. It's fine. Everything's good, really, you know? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean, I could talk about that a lot because it's attached to my job yeah, yeah, and yeah. my personality, I guess. And yeah, I can't help, I can't, like, take those things it's, apart. Yeah, and but, I feel the same, like, totally. Especially with the, like, the podcast one. Yeah. Like, that's me and like, I don't really use my own personal Instagram or social media or anything yeah. like that so like the podcast one's kind of your thing isn't it so yeah, you've made like, it yeah 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 yeah, yeah 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 but definitely recently been thinking like okay is there a way of like detaching from it a bit more I think just zoom, zoom out is my best my, yeah. the, the, my best trick just it's just like zoom out and just be a hairless ape in the world it yeah. doesn't really matter Yeah, it's just a rectangle it doesn't really I love it, that. it does connect yeah, you to loads of different people but it's like the rectangles got got us over the years. Hasn't rectangles it? got us. Rectangles bad. taken over the last few years. Like, yeah, not taken over, but yeah, you just might. Like, I'm really mindful these days of like, let's say you're in a queue in the store and you just like phone out. Like, why am I done that? Why don't I just like, yeah, have a conversation with the person at the side or like just be mindful. Yeah, it's bad. It's like it's tough. Yeah, like elements of boredom have like gone. You like, boredom rare good. that you're bored. Yeah, boredom is really good. Boredom's really good. I tried to have a boredom day yesterday. It's hard work these days, boredom days. Boredom day. Yeah. Like it takes you straight bit. to Loserville, doesn't it? It does. That's <laughs> the problem. Straight there. Then the loser vibes get worse. Yeah. So yeah, man. Population we're, you, dude. We're in a vicious cycle. Loserville. <laughs> we're in a vicious <laughs> cycle in Loserville. At the you're not, you're good. If you're in a vicious cycle, everyone is. Yeah. yeah. Don't worry about it. Worst therapist ever. Don't worry about <laughs> it. <dude. laughs> Don't worry about it, dude. Yeah, just have a beer and keep cruising. It'll pass. That's a well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hear it, but hopefully, no, not all. Will, not all. will drift away as we, uh, we immerse have ourselves in the world of mountain biking and let's. the excitement that's gone on. Because let's be honest, sport is a pretty good distraction from yeah being inward Loserville. <laughs> yeah, it is. I think it's the best. I get, I, I, I love it. I love following a sport. The more, as you've said as well, the more you put in, the more you get out. So hundred percent. And and we've got a horse in the uh, race nowadays. Not only in terms of our friends, but also in terms of the race companion. That's so true. it's quite cool that having the races has been mega fun. It's a shame that we haven't got to cover them more with the podcast because we had so many guests. Yeah, it's very true. But that's just how how the cookie crumbles sometimes, isn't it? it Especially is, yeah. with how we record this, where we record it. Yeah, it would be great to be way more on topic and. You know, I, yeah, I, really. And, and shout out to D, Dean Lucas. Actually, he's pretty good because he's been like just throwing a video up instantly. He's obviously As got he, his yeah. thing, his, his studio, and he's just been like hardline, boom, on it next day, boom, boom, hardline, race, bar, dude. Bar. Can, can we do it hard. in time order? Because I saw yes. his hardline, his take on hardline. Okay, please. And I wanted to. I, let's let's go back to it. Yeah, let's please. go back to it. Yeah, yeah. should we go the scandal? Or was that in the last first version? That was in the first. Yeah, version. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> the first thing on the list is Poland. Yeah. And uh beautiful place. Yeah. Um, absolutely. So the the new track like like people were worried about it. We had Teo on and he was really yeah. worried about it because he said it looked like a I think he said it looked it looked like a bike park track. I think that's pretty much what he said, didn't it? I think those were his words, yeah. I think someone lied to him. No, someone sent him <laughs> a, a Snapchat or something. Jackson sent yeah, him Snapchat. Jackson sent him so, and so, like, yeah, and I think crap. he was correct. It was like a newly built bike park track. But my goodness. That's what it needs. How good was it? It was a yeah. new track. I, I've ruined it now because I was going to ask you what you think made Poland great, but I've just ruined it. But yeah, the fact, that, the it was fact a new track. that it was new. <laughs> yeah, it was. Mate, it was. It was good. Uh, 
it feels like an age ago. Yeah, and I honestly we got can't Preston's really. track um, uh, oh, track preview yeah. so good, and like it was so Preston's cool track to see how the yeah. are so sick. Yeah, he's killing it with them. Yeah, he like, is. We had a viral one because he's been sharing them with us. Put it on TikTok. I did like one point six million. How cool is that? So sick. Yeah. Um, felt bad to didn't tag him in it because I didn't know he had TikTok. But hey, dude, he's story. big on TikTok. He's big on TikTok. Big on TikTok. Yeah, he's big in the game. Um, Absolutely. But yeah, his track previews have been amazing, and they're, they're a great really way good. of getting to grips with the with the courses because Absolutely. he talks you through his first run, and he <laughs> hammers it on a first run. He's a very fast young man. He's yeah. not hanging around. On no, first he's run. not. He's not. <laughs> um, yeah, absolutely. So, yeah. so when we were watching his track preview, it was like clear that like lines were opening up, and you saw stuff at the end of at the edge of the track, and you saw yeah. like ruts opening. It just makes you think like maybe that's what makes a really exciting day. I think race. it's funny because obviously when we had Teo on, and he was explaining what would make a good racetrack, that's what Poland was pretty. That's what it was. It was like open court, like lots of space in between the tape, yeah. multiple lines opening up speed tech it had a bit of everything had some jumps in it for, yeah 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 and uh it yeah it proved awesome for racing it's funny actually because we've got <clears throat> i'm, I'm going to be completely honest with you yeah and probably it's going to make people just be like well if that's what they're talking about i'm going to skip this podcast but on my list is poland hardline and Leo gang in terms of the world cup downhill yeah um those are the three places and poland and hardline have elements of new track and Leo gang doesn't doesn't it was still a good race so yeah. maybe i'm talking crap i, I don't got, know just yeah just to be honest i haven't seen it yet it's yeah. monday when we're recording this i had a busy day sunday and unfortunately i haven't managed to watch it but i have obviously seen the results and stuff um but yeah man um so poland let's poland. go back to poland yeah let's do can we just do a can you dig it up doug for the uh results from poland please just so we have them Live and direct in areas. We want them live and direct in areas. You, you are you are quite right. Yeah. Well, what, what I can tell you, let's go, Amory. Yeah, back so, from injury, dude. It's 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 less than a year, and it was a neck break, right? Yeah, he's he's in fifth place. Amory's back. It's, it's killer. Good to see. Pretty cool that. Yeah. I think I think it's quite hard to, <clears throat> if you're like one of those guys, the pinnacle. Yes. I feel like it's more than just being good on a bike. It's like a feeling that's hard to replicate. Yeah. So I think when if you if you like go out at the top with a big injury. Because he you went have, out at the top. He was, yeah. he was winning a lot. Absolutely. And you've got a big injury and you've got to make your way back. Not, on, not only do you have to be good at biking. Yeah, sure. Be, you have to be strong. You have to be physically good. But you also have to like be able to re recreate that feeling of... Mm. of uh, being untouchable, being at the pinnacle. Totally. Not having a care in the world, being the fastest guy on the planet. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, fifth place. Mind-blowing, really. Was this his first race back? Did he do Fort William? Do you know? Yeah. He did do Fort William. Yeah. Okay. But but fifth Even place so. is crazy because, it, yeah. I mean, I mean, really, we, we all focus on the results, but when you look at the diff the time difference in top five, it's like, well, they Could pretty much all first. crossed the line. <laughs> 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 they pretty much crossed the line at the yeah, same time. So well, no, that's not the, that, that makes racing sound dull but you know what i mean yeah like yeah, like you said like saying he finished fifth he could easily have finished first yeah or 10th probably yeah absolutely that yeah or something so yeah that's that's killer that he's back and strong and same bike everything just yeah, yeah getting back amongst it which is cool man back amongst it is is wicked isn't it yeah, yeah. i um I, i'm a amory Perion fan i'd say i'm oh, cool say it. isn't he yeah he's cool fan. yeah it's good to see it's good to see him back um have we got the results up there doggy what we got? I can't read that from here, mate, with my eyes. Yes, please. We've got coming in in. Ronan, Loris, Loris, Emwa, Amory. Oh, okay. Ronan. Ronan won his first World Cup in Poland. He did. So Ronan actually um, won Wins Privateer Award in 2021, and now won the World wow. Cup in 2024. How cool is that? That's the sickest thing. In it, that just makes you. That just makes you think like. Like Win was Win's quite a G, isn't he? What a cool thing to do yeah, really to help cool. someone out. And he's like continued to do it and still does it. Have you seen Absolutely, that he like hands yeah. tires out and stuff to people? Really it's cool. Really sick. He's a good good egg. But I guess what what a climb to you know, in twenty twenty one I wonder what the difference in um uh Ronan's I wonder what it is. Setup was then. Yeah. You know, that it, it, he was realistically he was a privateer, so but I don't know what that really means. He's probably 
van lifing and yeah probably yeah it sounds like it and now he's I was trying winning to figure out like how, how how were him and Teo so close like one island I don't they're pretty close I do you know like how did they end up spending so much time together and knowing each other so well no I, I actually don't know but I no. think I think just spend a lot of time on the road on with the road, people and then you the end circus. up you end up with people with sort of a similar yeah true energy I guess really when you actually think about it you're now talking about like what are we talking about? A hundred people? Yeah. Something like that? Yeah, true. Yeah, I, what I don't it? know how many entrants there are, actually, to each World Cup. That's yeah, a we're really saying like 400 thing. or something in Leah Gang. Is that so? Yeah. 400. I think between men, women and juniors. There it's you go. It's a lot of people. It is, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a hell of a lot of people. But yeah, it's so sick to see that, yeah, privateer award in Poland. And yeah. Winning the race. Winning the race. Imagine. Winning a World Cup. Imagine being that age. And winning a World Cup, what it yeah, must feel like. Dream. And coming from, any, you know, not there's anything wrong with it, but coming from Ireland as well. Yeah. Not that many riders have come from Ireland and no. won World Cup. Is he the first Irish World Cup winner? Shout out Glyn O'Brien. I don't think Glyn O'Brien... Um, oh, it's did tough. Did win a World Cup? It's tough. Is it the first... Oshin won one? Ocean yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah, Ocean yeah. Did. It's true. But of, not of this generation. I think Glenn O'Brien was the... I'm, uh, I'm sticking with it. <laughs> okay, you stick with it. Doug's digging it up. We're going to find out if he was the... And was she, okay, we'll find out after the break. After the break. Davey, I want to talk to you about hindsight, dude. Oh. Right. Hindsight. So on. much bike crime happens in the UK. Mm. And I dread to think how many people think... Oh, I listened to that lacquer ad on the ride companion and I wish I'd just carried it out, got insurance for my bike. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, definitely, mate. You're right. So we're here to help, are we? Or is that what we're going to do? Well, we are here to help. But yeah. what, I was, what I was kind of thinking was I wish I could do the same with health insurance. Oh. You know what I mean? Because I'm banged up. I wish I could have just... Yeah, wish I... Yeah, shoulda, woulda, coulda. Should, uh, that's how I feel right now. A lot now. of people live shoulda, woulda, coulda. Yeah, and so many people do with bike theft and pr like I am right now. Wishing Hindsight like, is a gnarly thing, isn't it? Because it is, sometimes it is, you like, yeah. let's say, unfortunately, you have a bike stolen or you get injured and you just think, oh, imagine that time when I was sat in a chair yeah. on the website yeah. ready to do it and all I needed was maybe like a bit of a nudge, a bit of a deal, yeah. which we can offer. Well, for, for bikes, obviously, yeah. you go to Lacquer. What do you do for health? Because that's obviously... A well, yes, you can also go to Lacquer. I didn't know this either until recently, dude, but Lacquer now hoth offers health and recovery insurance. So, what? do you want a couple of facts? I'd love a couple of facts. It's not already in my bike cover, is it? It could be. Depends which bike cover you've got. Okay. It Carry could on. be. So, it's a new kind of recovery policy for mind and body. Right. Made with cyclists in mind for less than an Americano a week. Depends where you get your Americanos from. They're only like... What? A couple of quid? A couple of quid. <laughs> <laughs> Cover that goes wherever you do, which is worldwide, like you, Mr. Worldwide. Oh, thank goodness. The I didn't want to ask, of mountain biking. I didn't want to ask a question. Yeah, okay. Thanks for doing it. Cover me. that does whatever you do, which is cycling. You? I like cycling, yeah. Skiing. Not got the bunts. For maybe. Skiing, but maybe one day. You never hiking. Know. Hiking. I like hiking. I've been doing a lot of it lately. Surfing. <laughs> surfing. I'd love to be able to Big surf. surf but I need guy. to swim first. Yeah. But it's good to know. And jet skiing. Jet skiing's on there. Are you serious? Yeah, you got a jet ski. They put jet ski on there. Yeah, you got a jet ski on there. Oh, uh, it's five star claims experience, home or abroad. And it's made super simple, dude. All you have to do, head to lacquer.co. Obviously, we talk about lacquer.co quite a lot. Lacquer.co. They do the best bike insurance. It's made super simple. They flipped insurance on its head, okay? Mm -hmm. They don't charge you a fixed sum every month. You only pay for what the collective has sort of, uh, what would you say? Dealt with. Yes, exactly. So you And the same it. goes for health as well, does it? Same goes for health as well, does it? Wow, yes, it does. A, a cool model, that is. Yeah, yeah. really cool. It's, uh, mate, I love lacquer.co. I'm glad we've got them back on board. Mm. And we have got a bit of a deal for the companionship, right? So all they have to do, head to lacquer.co to sort your bike insurance out. Enter the code Ride Companion 30. What well, is it? Ride Companion 30. Is that lowercase? Uppercase. All and it's up on screen. It's flashing red and blue. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's Ride Companion 30. 
<laughs> at lacquer.co. <laughs> there you go. And what do you get for that? What is it like? like what's the offer? You're going to get 30 days free bike insurance. Free so of, for 30 it's, days. It's free. 30 days, you have 100% peace of mind for free. Man, that's a dream, really, isn't it? It's really good. Yeah. You could be really cavalier. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you shouldn't be. <laughs> no. Yeah, good point. But you could. So, yeah, that's 30 days, free insurance, bike insurance, not health and yep. uh, wellness, with code RIDECOMPANION30 that's flashing red and blue at lacquer.co. Amazing. So good to know they do health insurance. I'm going to get that added onto my policy you right should. away. We're back in with hey. the answer to the quiz, which was. Do you want to do you want to do the answer? The question was: Was Ronan done the first downhill uh, Irish downhill rider to win a World Cup? And the answer is no. no. It was O'Shea O'Callaghan. Yep, that's right. And he won last year in snowshoe. And Ronan was also on the podium. And the Irish are getting really good at downhill. And it's time that we stop them. <laughs> 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 Rule Britannia. <No. laughs> I like you use it like it's an actual like fighting sport or something. We need to stop them. Nah, they're killing it. It's cool. Really good. Cool to see Ronan's like on top of the world, isn't he? Young lad, killing it. Gets obviously we're going to talk about it shortly, but got himself a, a Red Bull deal and. Should we talk about hardline now, or have we got more stuff to cover in Poland? I ain't got much on Poland. I haven't. Though, so I I'm, haven't. Dude, I'm this is, this is the out. problem. This is the problem. It's too like, long ago. Everything moves so quick. Yeah, it does. So you it end up fast, man. Yeah. Anyway, we're we're in the season now. We are in the season now. And uh, Qu- crazy thing, we're almost halfway fun. through it's the great season. Great racing. Yeah. Not that many races left. <laughs> what are we talking about after Poland, Davey? Mate, Red Bull hardline. And it's a hard line event. it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. It is, it is one of my favourites event, favourite events of the year. Yeah. For multiple reasons. Mine too. This this more than ever, because it was so exciting, the new parts of the course. Yeah, it was. Like all of the running into the gap jump, into the canyon. Yeah. All it all looked new and exciting and Yeah. And ultimately, like, as fans of the sport, this is the stuff you want. Yeah. This is the this is the thirst trap. This is gets you hooked into the event. Like the, yeah, I don't know. I know we've just, yeah, we're skipping around a little bit. People obviously online thinking that the gap jump might have been too big. What I don't know, but it definitely got people's attention. Yeah. I mean, what is, what, what is it that makes Hardline different to a World Cup track in your opinion? Track or event track. As a, as an event as a track, what is it that okay. makes it makes those two things yeah. events different? What was cool, actually, so the night before the videos came out um, of, of, well, the one of Jim flying, um, I was with Brendan and I was with Brendan at the same time as Craig Evans and Sam Hocknell came into a place and it was so sick to see, like, all three of them straight away, like, have you seen the jump? Have you seen the jump? Have you seen the jump? I'm going to guess that at a World Cup the athletes aren't that hyped and they're not as, yeah, I, I don't know if the word is nervous. I, I'm not too sure, but like just, yeah, excited to go like see something and watch something and yeah. and go ride something. So Hardline is an event that comes it, with weight, doesn't it? Yeah, I guess. It does, so it's like it the course is, it's a big part of it, isn't it? Yeah, like, the course is a major part of it for sure. It's you know, challenging. It's challenging. You're going to see like uh, riders really pushing their limits I know, I know they do at World Cup, but it's in a very different way. Yeah. Does that make sense? I, I think it's really interesting because at a World Cup, you go such a ridiculous pace down a track that that more, that more is rideable. Yeah. Right? That yeah, is like yeah, rideable yeah, yeah, to yeah. a wider audience. Okay? Especially recently, they're bike parks. You could go ride yeah, that tomorrow absolutely. if you wanted and to. And you literally can. You yeah, can yeah, go yeah, to yeah, Leergang yeah, yeah. and you can ride the bike park. Yeah. Whereas hardline, that so that's how it differs. It's like the speed is what makes a World Cup track dangerous. Hardline, it is the course. The course so everything it. is about the course. Right? Such a good point. Yeah, of course. We we that yeah. I think we can all agree on as like as like fans of what makes hardline amazing is yeah. the course. Yeah, and, and it, it almost puts the riders on an even bigger pedestal. I, yeah, I think so. It does. Put I mean, the you put, same put, as rampage. Absolutely. You see like a motorway section at the end of a World Cup, and it's like yeah, it's, it's really cool. Yeah. You see, seeing someone go as fast as they can over jumps that are like that you can ride in a bike park. It's really cool to see. Mm. It's cool to see the best in the world ride something that you can also ride 
it's also cool to see the best in the world be the best of the world. Be the best in the world. <laughs> yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah, hundred percent. Right? So hardline, I, I was mega hyped for the so, new section of track. Yeah, I was as well, and I think um, obviously the internet. You said before, like got it cancelled in a way. Yeah, so I, I, <laughs> I, I think the internet cancelled that okay. jump. Okay, you think it got twenty twenty four? I think the internet did. I think. And why do you think it was just a PR nightmare for Red Bull? Should anything happen? Or well, it's it... interesting, isn't it? Because. Um, Okay, let's look at Tasmania and let's look at Wales. Yeah. So Tasmania, Dave McMillan had a really, really big crash. Yeah, testing, testing the, the last jumps. The last jumps, yeah. So obviously his crash was awful. He was uh, rushed off to hospital, um, really bad feeling around it. Everyone was worried. The jump was, th these are big jumps. You're pushing the limits. This, it, it happens. It goes wrong. It's really hard to work out. There's no footage of this crash either. Yeah, there's oh, there loads, is. but it doesn't. It's, it's not out. It's not nice. It's not put out, knowledge. so it's not right, like okay. yeah. Okay. It's for Dave to put out whenever he wants. I don't okay. know if he will. It's not crashes aren't actually nice. Like no, especially if you know you know the bloke's knocked out all his teeth and yeah. broken his femur and all of those things. Yeah. Um, but it didn't get released before the race. Mm. So then the testing, the jump was altered, and the race went ahead and. Mm. I don't think there are any complaints about the course. There no. weren't people saying it was irresponsible. It was no. still the it was still pushing the boundaries of what's possible on a mountain bike, but no one was on a high horse in the comments, were they? No, I didn't see I, anything for sure. I don't know because it might be because these are the events that reach a broader audience than yeah. anything. But I don't think there's many people in the comments saying they shouldn't be doing this. This is irresponsible. Yeah, it's true. Skip to Hardline Wales. Yes. What happens? What happens? You got three studs testing a jump. Yeah. And two out of three made it. The third guy obviously got booked and, and, yeah. and ejected. Um, so testing. But that's testing. Yeah, testing is about information. It's about like gathering what you need to do to make it right. Yeah. And they worked out the radius wasn't, it was too much of a tight radius. And, yeah. And like, yeah, it did, it did look it, it did look it from my yeah, armchair. Well, exactly. From a photo on, on your chair, rectangle. That I can barely see. It looked like... A, from a was, weird angle. From a weird angle, it looked like it was too kicky. And like, everyone agrees it's too kicky. The guy who built the lip would agree it's too kicky. Yeah. The, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, Everyone yeah. who's tried it w will agree. So do you feel like if the internet didn't... Well, so the, you know, people. If, if the comment sections weren't so rife, the jump would have stayed in. If, if Jim Monroe had have made that jump, everything would have just carried on and it would have been in. Do you think it would have? Or, or the conspiracy theory, was it just a publicity stunt and it was never going that way anyway and it was just a case of drumming up? I don't believe that. I don't. Okay. I'm just saying. I'm just yeah, yeah, yeah. There, I don't believe doing. that. I don't think, I think ultimately what whatever happens, happens. They make the smartest decision on the day. If it was and my also, event, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have, after, after the hoo-ha yeah. surrounding that jump, I wouldn't have run it either. Right. If it was my event, I wouldn't have run it. Right, you'd if, have taken that jump out. Yeah, because how you you can't after that many armchair yeah. warriors know best. <laughs> yeah, you can't it almost give them the opportunity to be correct. You have to, you have to react. Mm. It's like mm. it's such a strange but thing. Also like it's the, like open forum, isn't it? It's like everyone can just say their opinion. And what does anyone know about what does anyone know about seventy foot wooden canyon caps? Not all, no, not much. Norton. Norton. <laughs> I think, uh, obviously, that w when we seen all that footage too and the vlogs and stuff from Matt and yeah. Bernard, it wasn't, as far as I know, it wasn't finished. There was still going to be a safety yeah, net. Absolutely, There's probably yeah. still be a guardrail at the side. Yeah. Do I want to do it? No. Do I want to see the best in the world jump it? Probably, yeah. It'll be, a hell it'll be an amazing spectacle. Yeah. Hey, we'll see. But oh, also, I mean like... Sorry, no, no. I think we spoke about this before, but like you, you test jumps. The size of the jump wasn't the issue, was it? It was the per perception of the jump with the canyon and the the scaffolding, and and it yeah, looked so that, quite aggressive. Like, that's right. Yeah, they're already jumping more than seventy, aren't they? And that's yeah, that's a lovely running. Yeah, because the jumps after are bigger. Yeah, and faster. Yeah. So, yeah, it's really interesting, isn't it? It is. That's uh, by the way. Everything I've said is just my. I could be completely wrong, yeah. and it could be every rider on that um, Use the start section. list. I know we're a little bit behind. What are we a month? But, <laughs> but, but it could be that every rider on that start list said they didn't want to do it after the 
um, and they weren't interested. It yeah, could be, that be could be the case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think every rider on that start list, list wanted to not do the ankle breaker drop and probably would have preferred to have the modified I think, bigger radius yeah. 70 footer, I think. Yeah, probably I think so. that would have been. Um, can, we, can we talk about the stuff that Jamie said to me on that uh, voice message? Yeah, we can. We'll talk about it. Um, so it, I think what's interesting too is like as the, the, the sport's progressing so fast, that you have this company Red Bull putting the name to stuff that they are pushing the limits of sport in loads of other sports, not just mountain biking. But my fr- our friend, Jamie, Jamie Scribby was on the podcast, sent me a message saying that basically like X Fighters, uh, Red Bull pulled out of X Fighters because they didn't want to put the name to something that was sport that was progressing that fast. Okay, yeah. That's it's interesting. interesting to think that like, they're doing that with mountain biking now with, with hardline and rampage. And it's like, they, it's progressing fast. You know, you look at like the nineties that came after that Canyon gap two years ago, they were the thing. Yeah. And all of a sudden we've moved on to that. And it's like, it's going to keep going. Yeah. It's interesting. It's There's interesting. A, isn't it's it? like progression, but also it's some, like there has to be an element of safety, right? Like it can't just keep getting crazy and crazy. It's, yeah, I don't know. I don't know who makes those decisions. Well, or... I think ultimately it's just athlete led, and then the the thing is, you've got a, a big corporation like so entwined in yeah. this sport that yeah, you can't yeah, imagine. Yeah. You know, Red Bull aren't with it. So it has to be it. bits of both, doesn't it? But yeah, I, uh, interesting thing. It is interesting thing. I can't imagine that you go above hundred foot really. And it's something that is just like repeatable every run. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, Dark Fest has certainly proven that you can make really big jumps really safe. Yeah. Like that course now is dialed. And, True. And it's, but yeah. I, I, I always find it funny because it, it, of course it's about riders and about feeling. People, um, when, when we had that, um, when Brendan had his uh, um, canyon at Rampage. Yeah. People were like, oh, I, the comments then were horrible. I didn't like it. My, my mate was about to ju- jump off it. There was loads of really gnarly comments about how it was like irresponsible. And, oh, really? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Okay. And it was about lad science and about that they've done the numbers wrong on this. And it's like, what do you think is going on when you do a jump? It's only about feeling. Mm. You couldn't look at a speedometer on a run in. Imagine <laughs> looking at a speedo on the way in being like, right, okay, the, the calculations are correct. <laughs> I'm going, what are they hitting like... 90s at like 50 miles yeah, an hour yeah. or something like it's bloody impressive man i'm not sure because we watched bernard's vlog together mm, i don't yeah. know how we haven't ended up talking about it but we yeah, haven't true, but yeah it was so good to see how they go through and it, it is thought out it's not just a hit and hope like he's analyzing the world, dude. all of it and it's it's the best riders in the world bloody impressive so next time you write a little comment about how irresponsible it is yeah i don't know it has an effect. Everything has an It's like a butterfly effect. Yeah, yeah, for That's sure. just my opinion, though, and I could be completely wrong. Yeah. I just think that jump got 2024. I look forward. Next year, I bet it. it'll be back. I it's bet in. it'll be there. Yeah. Who That's, knows? Yeah, who knows? It was a great race all the same. Mate, it, it didn't the, really matter at all. It, it was, was amazing, so it? good. Yeah. It was so good. I don't know. It is. It's It's all of it. Uh, you know, it's all of the, the hype coming into it. Yeah, the top section It's not just so that it's been cool. this year. It's like every year I've been super excited for that event. Yeah. It's a bit of me, that event. It's easy to watch. Yeah. Yeah. That's a big thing. Yeah, it is. You know? It definitely is. No hate, but it is a big thing. Like, it's easy to watch. I really loved some of the sections, the new sections that were like, you had to break up for. They kind of look rampagey. Yeah. I love that. And then you watch people, you watch the finals. Obviously, we'll get to the, let's just go straight to the podium because those three dudes <laughs> riding down that was <laughs> so cool. Yeah. We got third place, one for. Yeah. One for came down there. I was like, well, obviously no one can go faster <laughs> than that. It's like... You know what though? Just to go back. Yeah. The first run of the day was Brayton. And I remember oh, watching that and just being like... Brayton's so impressive. How is yeah. he coming down like last, basically? But obviously he'd had an issue in yeah, quality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just like, oh, he's pinned. And he sat in the hot seat for ages. But he set the bar he's so unreal, high instantly. He's it was so like, fast, I'm, yeah. You know came into the top 10 and I'm still like, he could win this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he looked so dialed, how so cool is, pinned. Dude, how cool is downhill racing? Yeah. Do you know, I, how many be. downhill <laughs> races, how many downhill races do I need to watch where I think someone can't be beaten 
and then they're it's beaten. Very true. Like I it's do it every true. single time. I'm like, that's it. Yeah, yeah that's it. We've so got true. a winner. We've got a winner. Like it's slow so clapping true. them, and then they end up off the podium. It's, it's like so true, so true. Yeah, it was good, man. Like yeah, him him coming down and riding like that was fantastic. Yeah, it really like set the bar, set the pace. Oh, it's great. I love watching every run as well because yeah. there's just... And and there is a point throughout the list that turns, and I, and I be, don't mean this in any disrespect, but there's a point where it turns and it seems like riders are like attacking the course. There's like... Yeah. Obviously, the course is like amazing just to get down. <coughs> there seems like there's a point. Yeah, where it becomes squashing and... Mate, undeniably, and one for, for me, I, I watched him come down. I was like, whoa, this is... Yeah a really, really fast run. Like some of those top sections where, you, where in a, the nice way to ride the, some of the top sections is you break up, assess the situation, make sure you're going at a speed that can be controlled <laughs> off massive cliff into the massive turn with huge consequence the other side and then ping out with as much speed as possible. That's a nice scenario. Not pump down it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, you're not sure. downsiding like these... Wow. So then, yeah. I and mean, then, one for Valles too, right? He is a World Cup racer. Yeah. I think people, fastest. Um, high, he's the highest ranked Colombian. Colombia. Yeah. It's just, in, I just think of him as a street racer. Yeah. But he's just good at everything. Yeah, he's a, yeah, <laughs> he's a downhill mountain biker, isn't he? Yeah. But yeah, I, I I know what you mean. Like yeah. he's obviously very well known for his street racing. Yeah. I mean, yeah, he, he is it's it's something to watch a street yeah. race as yeah. well, but. Back to Hardline, back to the top of the hill. Bernard's up there. We want to see the Tiger, obviously. we're, we're uh, <laughs> Don't get a Tiger if he wins Hardline. We're keen for it. Does he not? No. He, he might. <laughs> I mean, he might get one, but... No, nah, he needs a World Cup win. Is it World Cup win? But seeing him the, him in the top section, you don't normally see it like he's a... You don't normally see him ride like that. That is meant... Yeah, that to was, the wall. That was... A, that was, that pin, was it, wasn't it? Yeah, I was... I mean, everything the, on the line. Yeah, and, the top section, watching him through the top section, I was like... And he came Whoa. down second, right? <laughs> second to last. Yeah. So he, yeah, obviously he knew he had Ronan behind him, obviously. But yeah, yeah, that was a, that was a one to watch. Mate, it's so sick. You know, you sat Isn't there, it? you've got like sweaty palms. Yeah. You can tell they're really on the edge, just like pushing through everything. Just, oh. Did you see how many mistakes? And they're not they mistakes that like cause any, cost any time. They're just mistakes that you know personally you didn't mean to. Yeah. And like, I'm used to watching, like, especially Bernie. I'm used to watching him ride, and you know yeah. he's like doesn't really make mistakes if he's riding normally. Don't normally see him. That's why you know it's at the edge. He's on the edge, dude. Yeah, yeah. it's cool, man. It was really cool, wasn't yeah. it? Do you think and it helps, or is it good or bad that it's in the middle of a World Cup season? I don't know. It's a it's a UCI race to get around that, isn't it? So they don't get so people don't get fined. But a lot of people couldn't race because teams, their teams want yeah. them to focus on. Yeah, I mean, where's the turning point? There might be, there might yeah, be exactly. One. Yeah, where is the turning point? Yeah, may maybe, maybe there'll be like hardline specialists. Yeah, I mean, yeah, who knows? I mean, I love all of it. I'm a fan of all of it. I don't talk bad on any of it. But no. thank goodness for Red Bull, because think about Wanfa and Holguin. Yep. Um, you know they they they're pushing so hard, going so far. Some of the most exciting riders in the world, and it's because of these Red Red Bull events. Yeah, it's, true. Otherwise, there'd be... Yeah, it's... Yeah. it's uh, In a van somewhere, following the World Cup circuit. That's it, that's <laughs> it. So it's really cool to see someone pushing down onto the big I think it's good stage. for all athletes, obviously, because it puts them on that platform. Yeah. You know, especially with the hype I'd coming into this one. Absolutely, yeah. It's interesting to think that, it's, you know... It's mega. Yeah, some of those riders are getting, like, a lot of people watching them. Yeah! Some of them aren't even World Cup racers. Yeah, you know it's I mean? true. Right, let's um let's talk about what happened. Bernard's in the hot seat at this point during Hardline. Yeah. Let's talk about what happened after that, Ooh, after the break. Nice. Ollie, mate, what yeah. is the ads? What are you doing? Well, I didn't think I'd have to stop. It's so quiet. I know you've been riding a lot and you're really trying to focus on recovery, but yeah. you can't always be recovering, can you? I can if I sponsor this Compex and you've got the Fix 2.0 and I'm making my legs feel better. Oh, man. <laughs> Honestly, this thing is incredible. It's been helping me out loads. I've been yeah. riding a lot and this yeah. thing, I get home and I just use it for recovery. You can use it for before as well though, right? You can, mate. Yeah, the Compex Fix 2.0 Master helps warm up muscles before a workout oh, nice. and relieve, sti relieve stiffness okay. after a hard session, okay? That's what I, yeah. That's, that's what, what you, I that's what you use using it for. It for. Yeah, yeah, I've yeah. just finished a hard session, so. Yeah, it has yeah. five... <laughs> Ollie. Yeah. 
it's my favorite tool as well. All right. The yeah. Compex Fix 2.0 massager helps warm up muscles before a workout and relieve stiffness after a hard session. Yeah. Okay. It's got five powerfully, powerful intensity settings. Oh, yeah, it has. That's that's done with this dial here. That's done with the it's dial. Really good. Yeah. Paired with a high stall force will give the intense pressure needed to help relieve the toughest spots safely and comfortably. Hey, I want to point out that the stall force thing is really important because when you're pushing down yeah. hard, yeah. really getting in those difficult points. Nooks and grannies. It's not stalling. And and some of the other ones, I'll be honest. Yeah. You not only did stop. I buy them off Amazon, they got they stalled. And then they set my house on fire. Oh. So you don't want that. No, mate, you don't want that at no. all. It also comes with five interchangeable tips. Yep. Okay. And a rotating arm helps tailor your massage specific to the needs of different muscle groups. Okay. Yep. It has a removable and rechargeable batteries, a compact design and a quiet motor help provide relief anywhere and everywhere. Okay. So you can bring your inner pro with a fixed 2.0 massage. That right. Gun. It did rhyme. Just saying that rhyme. It did. Yeah, it did yeah. rhyme. But yeah, honestly, dude, real life experiences. I use mine all the time. Post ride, pre ride. I just love using the Compex Fix 2.0. Do you know what I found the other day? I yeah. was at my physio. Everything he had was Compex. Oh. I really liked that, mate. It's yeah, really good. Chosen by professionals. Yeah, and they do loads of other stuff too. So check out Compex.com. All right, you can look through all of the different recovery tools they've got uh, muscle stims muscle stims, muscle You've got, stims yeah, yeah they got the core so belt good. they got do this so ankle protection you need some of that need it wrist protection maybe need some of that <sighs> i do now yeah oh. loads of I'm stuff i'm gonna get complex up dude Big complex up hey do we have anything to offer to our companionship because i do like it when we finish ads on an offer yeah we've got to finish on hey, it's a big offer too mate is it yeah so if you head to complex.com enter the promo code the ride companion okay what is it the Ride Companion. All in caps. Okay, nice. I was about to ask. We're going to knock off a whopping 20% off. 20%? 20% off. Now, that if that's not a deal to get you recovered, ready to ride through spring, then I don't know. Hey, you Can't might... do any better. You might get 20% off, but you're going to be 100% satisfied with the product, let me tell you. Oh, and on that note... That was nice. Thank you, Compex. Thanks, Compex. I'm racking my brains trying to think about hardline. Like, yeah. I really am. Okay, like, so imagine it's like a hum. Mm, my brain's like, come on, yeah. think about it. Go on. Imagine please. you're how old? How old's Ronan? Twenty two. I think he's twenty two, isn't he? I think he's twenty two. Right. Let's just say you're twenty two. Yeah, please. You've just won hardline Tasmania. You've won a World Cup. You've just been given a Red Bull helmet, signed for Red Bull, and you're at the top. You're the fastest qualifier of hardline. Can you imagine what that feels like? No, I could at 22. I could couldn't do much. I was pretty bad at 22. The pressure of that. You're on arguably the most watched mountain bike race of the year. <coughs> you know Warner's going to be like, here he is, the Irish stallion. Blah blah. You know he, Warner's going for it. Yeah. You you can see the blue. On your helmet, it's changed color. It was your white before, dude. Your helmet's changed color. The helmet's changed color. You can see the the blue and the white. It was just white. Yeah. Oh my! You goodness. look a Do you bit know, like Jet Lawrence. I can honestly, I can really put myself in that situation. It makes me feel so on edge, just like the howling wind at the top of the hard line course, North Wales. Looking over, you know how much it's worth. You know how quick you can go. Quiet at the top of there too, I bet. Yeah, exactly. No one up there. Makes it weird. Not like sure. World Cup, like it was yeah. loads of people. I mean, even World Cups are pretty weird, you just, but you've got that True. the whole time, haven't you? Yeah. Unless you're number one. It's quiet at the top for number one, quiet regardless, isn't it? One. There's no one up there anymore. Yeah. Never thought about that. It makes it more eerie. Big time. Pressure's on. Isn't it? And then... Drop in. Drops in. It was... Um, <laughs> It was a pretty crazy run, wasn't it? It was. I wonder, like, yeah, I'd love to talk to him about it, but, like, the game plan. Yeah. Like, what is it? Do you have any information? I guess not. You can't really hear the crowd, like... Yeah, true. At Hardline, I don't know, yeah. I wonder if the wind just takes all that noise away. I don't know if you can hear or if you can Obviously hear... Obviously burned away into the hot seat. Yeah, and you could hear... You 
obviously you can hear a crowd. It looked great. The crowds there looked great. Yeah, it was really, really cool. cool to see. Yeah, and it sort of had like a small big event feel in that yeah. there was like... Like Freedom Ride. How, yeah, like how cool is it? They were like, <laughs> you're able to just literally queue up and just see these sort of superhero riders. I loved that about massive, it. I forgot about that. Yeah. I loved that about it. The fact they did like a signing and stuff. You know, yeah. I know they do that sort of stuff at World Cup, but that's what we want from these athletes. But it was just man. in it's a field. It's so well. cool. Yeah, they deserve to be like, yeah, celebrities. Pits, like open sort of format pits. Yeah. It was just like, yeah, it's, it's cool, mega man. cool. Really cool. So yeah, he comes down. Takes it. I thought Done Bernard it. Bernard did very well to not look more disappointed. <laughs> I, I mean, how how crazy is that after you've, like what, <laughs> I can't even imagine what that feels like to be either of those people. Like for Bernard, that's it's yeah. such a high that you've made it down. You've moved into the hot seat. You might as well have won the race in that in, for those moments. Yeah. And then you have to just sit there. So then that's such a... There's a really good reel, isn't there? Scary moment. Of yeah, yeah. Bernard, the, sh- the, the shot of Bernard watching Ronan come down. But you don't get that with a normal job, do you? Definitely don't get like, that. What do you job. get that with? I can't even think of an example. No, you're right. It's a very unique <laughs> position, isn't it? Because it's like, there'll, there'll still be like, um, obviously you're still stoked that you came second, but you're about to win Hardline. Only a little slip up and he'd have won it. Yeah. And Ronan would have got second or third. Crazy, eh? But yeah. So that's I'm, why we like downhill. Yeah. For that reason, right? It oh, it's unreal. Took a, I, I don't know what the winning margin was, but it wasn't a lot. And just having Warner on the commentary as well builds the story. It was it was so good, wasn't yeah. it? I really enjoyed Hardline this year. This year, I think, was my favourite Hardline. I agree with you. Yeah. Probably was mine as well, actually. Yeah, it probably was mine. I feel like next year we're going to... See that canyon gap. And we're going to talk about it the day after. Or do a watch along. Just something. Should we actually go there? Might go. I've been... We should go been there. saying I'm going for the last five or six years. I know. <laughs> Sorry. Could go. Yeah, we should go there, shouldn't we? I let's just let's just commit to it now. Yeah, we're going to hardline next year. We'll be at hardline next year. We'll be at hardline. please Red Bull. Can we come? Um, yeah, yeah, amazing! What an amazing race! Really cool to see. Great race, great event, great everything about it. Fantastic. Yeah, downhill's rad. Move downhill's on. rad. Downhill's rad. It's hyped for Ronan. Yeah, ha- super hyped for Ronan. Um, so next up on my list is Lear Gang. Is it? Yeah. It's literally just happened. You haven't watched it. So we could just go through. <coughs> I'm sorry. No, don't. Sorry, be, everyone. It's, yeah. Dude, I didn't don't have be. It's time just yesterday. happened. You can't watch everything. It's yeah. hard. Um, I so here. my notes are pretty basic. I'll be honest. Cool. I watched it in a van in Slovenia. Oh, cool. In the back of a van. It's pretty rad. Um, it's a uh, Lear Gang as a track. I was thinking about this. I was thinking it's like re- like has really bike parky motorway s- segments. Did so, you see homeboy pull out of the? Oh my goodness! <laughs> see how fast they're going into that. <laughs> I know. Whoa! So I wish how was high angle. was it? Is there any other angle? I uh, know. I don't. I've not seen another angle, but that onboard footage is so gnarly. Like, it is it unbelievable. I wish right. we had it here to watch it. And just goes Absolutely over. Absolutely crazy. That, that, how, how high is that wall ride? 15 foot? Probably is, yeah. Probably is. Right. just ejected out the top of it. Dude, can you imagine? Still how clipped high in. <laughs> like, oh my just, God. Imagine being one of the spectators. We should have one of them on as a guest. <laughs> so tell me about what guest. you ate that morning. <laughs> 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 he wouldn't be the strangest guest. <laughs> That would, that would, what a cr- crazy crash that would be. I'm really glad the, yeah. You know what as well? There's actually, there's, have you seen, there's a video of, uh, of Danny Hart jumping into it. It is so fast. Yeah. Isn't it? It is and it, really it's a fast. big jump into it as well. Yeah. And then woof, left. My God, that's one of my fucking coolest sections of track, if you ask me. <laughs> so I actually so know sick. it's, <laughs> it's a uh, Raymond. Yeah. Raimondo Guzman. Raimondo Guzman won the internet Shout. on that day. He <laughs> did. Shout so out to Ram- Raimondo for that mistake. We're glad you're all right. That yeah. was a wild one. That was a wild ride, Raimondo. What did he actually, what did he put in his... Uh... I think he just, and he hobbled out of it too, right? It was okay. Oh, good bloke. He says he's happy to be with just a swollen ankle and he didn't hurt anyone on the field. <sighs> Holy. 
I mean, it is unbelievable. I'm watching it now. I'm sorry. I'm, I, know, I know. I know. It's a podcast, and I'm in like talking. I think we'll be allowed to use it, won't we, Ramondo? Hopefully. Yeah, we'll put it. But up. shout out Ramondo. You can see just compressed, dude. He t- he takes up maybe 15 foot was an exaggeration, but I mean the speed. Yeah, I'm really fast. glad he's okay because that was that's a crazy moment. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. goodness. What do you think? What do the riders think of of Leo Gang? Do you, have you got any insights on that? Like, no, I don't have any insights. No, I, right. I, and, and also after talking such strong opinions about Hardline, I don't really have insights there. But I, I think I can guess that probably a lot of people would have liked to ride that yeah. gap. And yeah, Lear Gang probably is a bit. It, it's clearly a good racetrack. Yeah, it really is a good riding's racetrack. tight and it creates good races. Yeah. I think it, I think Lear Gang is one of the first racetracks that had that kind of drone zipline motorway section. Yeah. And I think in the live feed, I remember that being like a thing. I mm. remember it being like, this is this is how we can present our sport to the world. Look at how cool it looks. And it, it does look cool. Yeah, it does look cool. It does look cool like that, for sure. It's just got to be fun for riders as well. Yeah, Because you can see what happens when it is fun. You get a pole and you, or you get a, a hard line. Like, that's the magic source, isn't it? Let's get, let's get um, someone on who's done... Let's get a World Cup racer on soon. Yes, like, to talk well, about when they get back properly. from Europe, it'll be a lot easier, I think. At the yeah. moment, it's quite difficult. Yeah, absolutely. We we're going to fly Bernard in, but we couldn't afford it. No, he's, he's a helicopter. It's like, dude, just go in a plane. Don't yeah. need to be a helicopter. Stop being so... He's got one of those jet suits, hasn't he, now? He bought that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Flying around Mac. Like, Talking of Bernard, I don't Iron want to Man. talk about Bernard too much. We need to get... We, we we can't talk about we we need to not talk about him too much. Okay. But he's knocking about doing well at the minute, isn't he? Yeah, I feel like Bernard usually comes into form mid season as well. Mm. I feel yeah. like all of those good results he had have always come in the later stages of the season. Yeah, so we're still praying for that tiger. Absolutely, the lower woods were wet, and he did uh, lose both feet and still come eighth. I eighth, think. Yeah, and um, the same as. Danny slid out there, yeah, um, and he was on a good good time. So yeah. it was interesting actually because all the upper bit looked really dry, and it just came into the woods, and it just looked like bog, yeah, bog central, slidey, it? peanut buttery, yeah, claggy, claggy. What's going on with Greg at the moment? Not sure. Greg didn't make finals. I actually don't know. Do you know? I know. Obviously, he had a crash at round one. Yeah, but that's all. I've not had any. I mean, again, probably could have re- reached out and got a little bit of insight before we did this, but um, yeah, I don't know, dude. I don't know. No, I don't know. You just, li- I just hope that the the vibes in the team are still up. You know, I hope they they've not got loser vibes because they've they've thrown so much at this. I think the female rider is injured. Am yes. I right? Yeah. Yeah, she is. Yeah. Apologies. Oh, so bad at this. Gracie, Gracie Hem Street, yeah. Gracie Hem Street yeah. yeah, okay. She's so she's thank you, Dougie. Uh, so she's injured, but yeah, I don't know. You just like to think that they're not, they've not got loser vibes. And I think Tarni's Tarni crashed at the gang as well, didn't she? She did. I think um, Tarni should be okay. God, we've been real bummers about Lear Gang. Lear Gang was a great race. Yep. Loic uh, won that with uh, Loic's looking good, eh? Yeah, Loic's looking good. Loic's looking like Loic. Loic's doing what Loic Bruni does. Yeah, Loic's a, Loic's a, a great champ, isn't he? Because he's sort of like, a, he's he's like slowly, it's it's not just been domination. No. I like that about a champion, someone who has ups and downs and they actually like really prove themselves. Yeah. I think I think there's something uh, admirable about that. It's I agree. It's noble totally. about it. It's cool. Totally. Yeah. And uh, obviously major news on the podium was uh, Lackey Stevens yeah. McNabb. That's in my notes as well. Joe Bowman is quite the talent scout, isn't he? Joe Bowman is the Alex Ferguson of mountain biking. He is. I'm throwing it out there. I like that. I I've like been, that. I've he been is. calling him Alex for a while now. Have you? Yeah, because he's he's it. Like, what is going on? He has found he's like some insight, this insane he? Yeah. talent pool and the union for what is essentially a privateer team yeah. that don't even pit in the pro pits. They're out at Lear Gang down the street somewhere. Yeah. Are getting podiums. Yeah. And winning. Like, it's fucking sick, dude. Like, I'm so proud of him. He yeah, still he's he's never takes me back. He never takes me back. But I'm still <laughs> a big fan of Joe Bowman. <laughs> Joe, if you watch this. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> he's a busy guy. But um, yeah, it's so sick to see what the union are doing. It's yeah, a non profit, actually. So, so in my other notes are um 
uh, Valley won by seven seconds. Is that right? Seven seconds, Valley won by. That's pretty. That's pretty intimidating, isn't it? That's pretty intimidating. Good on her. Is home she's race from as well. Salback, isn't she? Must but be this nice is the cl- this race. is just down the road, isn't it? Yeah, that's cool. And yeah, um, really Pom Pom's cool. back on form. Yes. No. Where was she? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She third, was third place. Yeah, that's sick. So that's good to see. I think um, th- that's all of my Leah Gang notes. I'll be honest. No, they were good. Great notes. Thanks, I, dude. Um, we've got a route for our boy Preston because he's out there. He's doing it. He's doing it. He's not. We've not not made. Um, Let's a get semi Preston yet. on soon. He'll be back soon. We'll Let's get Preston on soon. That'd be good. Up. Yeah, he'll be yeah. back soon. Um, but yeah, man, he's out there hustling. Track previews are sick. He's putting in the work. Absolutely. And it's like a shame, and I hope it doesn't. But like, how do you put it? It's not going unnoticed. Just because like they haven't made that final and they're not on the tv broadcast they're still like out there doing it and yeah and you do still see it yeah i think like the semis and the and the low the fewer riders in the finals you do still see the story leading up to it don't yeah, you? yeah you do so yeah just wonder where the semis Preston. is necessary where you, you'd still see it in qualifying maybe i don't know yeah i don't know <laughs> i don't know either i don't know it's funny it's like because it used to be 60 but only 30 were televised is that right Mm, it should be six feet only thirty. No, I think they used to show more. Did they? Yeah, they used to show a fair. Mo- but then you see longer runs mm. as it went through. So you like the top thirty, you probably see more of their run than the than just like a few little right. runs at the top. I can't actually remember. No, so it's I'll hard to imagine those yeah. days. I know, eh? Yeah. Right. So that's we we we're doing. Re- by the way, we're doing really well. This yeah. is the MTB episode, and we're covering all things MTB. Yeah, we're trying. We've gone a bit heavy on uh, racing. Let's go to. The thing that's popped out on the internet at the moment for me is backyard battle, and it's Vero and Ver- Veronique Sandler and Sam Hodgson's spot. It's so it. cool, <laughs> dude. The sickest thing, child of dream or what? Well, I mean, it's not. It doesn't even look like a. It doesn't look like a backyard set of jumps. It looks no. like a bike park. Yeah, it does. It's unreal. It's a hell of a setup, isn't it? <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, I think it's a really cool format as well. Actually, I think. Um, yeah, what a cool way to like get your athletes to do something for mon- Monster. What yeah. a cool way to get your athletes to produce an event and make it exactly what they want it to be. Yeah. Like that's that's ultimately the dream, isn't it? I yeah, think there's... totally. You get loads of personality into it. Like, it's so them. Yeah. Um, again, we should have gone. We were meant to go. Yeah, you were I couldn't. Busy. I couldn't you know, we did, but maybe next year we can go and attend. But yeah. it's cool. It's got some like amazing riders there too like and they invite the creme de la creme yeah and such an array of different um yeah. talent as well like it was like there were downhill bikes yeah, um, yeah true slope bikes yeah and yeah, yeah more like jibby bikes, bikes. <laughs> but yeah it was really interesting wasn't it it was like yeah. that's what a, a mountain biking jam looks like now mm, true like, and some of those those um kickers were massive yeah, they were, you see wooden ones massive where yeah, 16 I'll foot find. i think one of them 16 <gasps> foot. Shit. i'd like to go like very it. cool yeah um so you can run through the little line maybe <laughs> yeah well done we'll see. Putting, on a, putting on something that stops the internet it's hard to make the internet stop isn't it yeah it's, you've got like that was a big one yeah definitely a big one but it's funny like obviously their energy drink productions oh yeah yeah Quite i cool thought that yeah, yeah. Like the red bull hardline monster are doing their thing yeah, about your you battle go. and fest series and you it's know, all uh, good Dark stuff fest. it's all good stuff mate it's all good vibes I think we've got listener questions. Have we? Yeah, let's have a look. What else we got? Um, yeah, haven't we? Yeah, we could have. Let's have a look. Um, all right. How long we got? We got, okay. Uh, how about this? I got um, I got a, uh, what's it called? Podium picks. We like a podium pick sometimes, don't we? A quick fire podium picks. All right, we'll do it. I don't know why I keep looking over at you, Doug. I'm so sorry. Like appro- I just want approval today. Yeah. You know what I mean, I just need someone to say we're, okay. we're both thirsty. We're both looking over there. Like, yeah, we're yeah. both thirsty for approval. That's Super what it is. excited. Let's go. Okay, Ray, ready, Ollie? Yeah, Podium kind picks. of. I'm messaging a bloke about um, plasterboard. Plasterboard. Yeah, he's coming over to pick some up for twenty quid. It's worth. I just I bought it for seventy quid a sheet. Oh, insulated plasterboard. That's the sort of business we like doing, isn't it? Give it Stinger. Away you just quid. can't give it. You literally. I just did that with the van as well. Oh, so so annoying, fun, isn't it? Isn't it? Oh. Just couple of grand down so fun yeah um all right podium picks 
Podium picks. Yeah, we're going to do podium picks. Quick Please, fight, it's quick been a fight. while. I like it. I Dude, like it. It's favorite segment. Podium picks. So if you've never played podium picks before, you go three, two, one. You use the comment section if you can to, to put your answers. Okay. We're going to go to the team in the back as well over there. You ready? Podium picks. The three top iPhone games of all time. Three top iPhone games of all time. I'm not much of an iPhone gamer, but only recently have I turned myself into an iPhone gamer. And that's why I thought of it. Okay. This is really good. I can't... I can... Are you an iPhone gamer? No, but... Duolingo. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Can, sorry. Okay. <laughs> you can't have that. Okay. Can, I, can, I, use, can I use that as my third? Yeah, that's definitely a great one, isn't it? So Ollie's number three, Duolingo. Is yeah. it called Duolingo? Duolingo? Duolingo, yeah. Duolingo. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm failing at the minute actually. Yeah. I've got I've got I've plateaued. My Spanish is plateaued. I need to actually go to lessons. Yeah, you get to a certain point with Duolingo, and it's like it's impossible to learn. That it just gets it doesn't teach you any of the theory. Just I need to words. learn. Pro- yeah, it's just more words. Yeah, you're not, so you're not actually doing the thing. No, I'm just trying to keep my streak going. I'm on like nearly. F- I'm, I'm on. I think I'm on 400 days in a row. All I've right. done it for, but I missed last night. Got it. Oh. Yeah, I was on the plane. I couldn't do anything. I was late. I was on the plane. Blue. Bloody hell. And there you go. 400 and out. Yeah. Good run. So Duolingo goes my, my third place one. That's a good one. Do you want to do your third place one or shall I do my second place I'm one? I'm struggling, but yeah, go on. Okay, my second place one would be a game called 2048. 2048. I don't know if anyone listening to this will have played it. Okay. But it's like a, I can't explain it, but it's a numbers game and you smush them together and you eventually reach 2048. Okay, that's a good one. Have you ever played that one? Have we any? Not the other number of people playing. Yeah, it's very addictive. Yeah, that's and that's you what can, we're thinking. Addictive iPhone. You can games. do it for a whole plane journey, but I I had to physically remove it from my phone because it got too much. The draw got too much. Okay, I was, I'm a bit gollumy. I had to <laughs> oh. Get it away. And then in number one for me is PUBG because during during um, lockdown, PUBG was so good. Yeah, you could like hang out with your mates and just run around. Looting places. It That's was a good really, one. Really good. That's a good one. Um, great three. Thanks, off dude. The, off the cuff as well. And c- considering I came up with the idea, <laughs> I have <laughs> not a lot to go on. So I'm going to go. Number three is going to be. It was called. St- I think it was called like Stick Runner or something like that. It was like a little man that you you press the screen and you made him jump. I got really good at that. Um, I don't it was think a I've good seen toilet game. It was a good toilet right, game. Yeah, yeah. So that's my number three. Number two. It's not technically an iPhone game, but. Um, again, I'm a bit weirdly good at this one. It's going to be Tetris. Nice. I'm a, oh, I get so Tetris addicted to classic, Tetris that dude. I have to delete it. What's your favourite one? Just like shape. Favourite shape? Square. Square, is it? Just, it's bulk. Just does it. I like um, long skinny because I like making it all and then having long and then skinny come long down. Skinny down. Oh, oh, I might go nice long feeling. skinny. No, no I'll nice. go, I'm going to stick with square. I think square's solid. Square's solid. Literally. It is, yeah. Yeah. And then number one, just because it's a thing at the moment. Du, 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 du. Chess. Are you into chess? No, I'm trying though. It's another one of those cool things thing to up. be into. I just would like to learn how to do it just so yeah. you can play it. But it takes a long time, it turns out. It's not an easy game to learn. It's not, not like checkers. No, That's it's easy. a lot of rules, isn't there? You have yeah. to learn each piece. Yeah. So it's I'm just going cool through this. There's a good there's a good iPhone app literally called chess.com and it gives you all the lessons and stuff. Haven't paid for it yet. I'm not sure if that, I mean, I might have, but um, I have, yeah, it's not like the piano one. <laughs> hey, can I ask, how do you know when an app is charging you for something? Uh, have you noticed now? It, you have to look on your subscriptions, don't you? So it might, so apps might be charging. It never says the price anymore. It yeah, used to be like 99p. And then you just have to like double tap. In-app services, in-app things, don't it? So like, they're all free and then you get in-app. So, so, yeah. Okay, okay, that's all right then. I was worried. Yeah, you've got a few. Well, I just worry that I like download them and I don't actually think about what I'm paying for if I'm even paying. Yeah. There's no number, but they're all free. You pay for an app. Thanks for clearing that up, Davey. My pleasure. Have you got? Th- have you got three? Yeah, so okay. Well, we can't. He's gonna have to speak up. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're an iPhone gamer, Doug. No, no, me either. No. That's why I thought it was good. Mini motorways at three. Mini motorways. And it's on the phone right now. Okay, mini motorways. Okay. Mini motorways. That sounds nice. Apple Arcade. Apple Arcade. Okay, okay. okay. Mini nice. motorways. Then I've got a free one called Grand Mountain. Grand, Grand Mountain. Mountain. Which is a ski one. Skiing, nice. You just free skiing down the mountain. 
Who doesn't love skiing? Yeah, love skiing. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's a good plane one. Plane Finder's nice. That's Plane Finder's nice. I downloaded Satellite Finder. Oh, nice. Yeah, that that was a charged one, so I deleted it. I only looked at it and I was like, oh, cool, deleted. Naomi, you doing three? Yes. Here we go. Oh. So I've quite got a order. Okay. Okay. We've got no, no order. order, but. I, I go for the more chill ones. Okay, chill. Um, <laughs> Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing three. sounds lovely. <laughs> a nice chill one. Yeah, that is nice. I like Animal Crossing. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I like the sound of it. Yeah. I, I, I assume it's not... <laughs> animals getting run over. No. Good. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, that sounds nice. Really nice. <laughs> In at number two. Um, the Sims. Good one, The Sims. The Sims available on iPhone now. Yeah. Wow. Who knew, dude? I could do with some. Of th- I could do with some games. Really? Yeah. I need. It's nice to outside, though, isn't it? It is nice outside, but just like when you're stuck, it's really good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, every I go through this sometimes. I'm like, I want a game, then I get it. I'm like, what are you doing? okay. I know you said it wasn't ordered, but, but number one. Uh, yeah, but number one. <laughs> Sudoku. Oh, Sudoku. Nice. Good one. Solid. That. Yeah. Sudoku is good. I think both of. Both of you had smart ones as yeah. number ones. Chess, Sudoku. You had like... <laughs> Playing Finder. Playing Finder. <laughs> You're as bad as Yours me. Yours is so Duolingo, not Duolipa. Duolingo. That's my smart one. Yeah. Do you think we all snuck in a smart one then, subconsciously, to yeah. make us feel all right about ourselves, making animals go crossing and... Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. That was a really good one. Thanks. Are we wrapping or are we carrying on? Oh, we've got some. We've got what some about um, plasterboard. We've guy. got listener questions. Okay. Great question here. Six seven factory racing. Has Ollie switched to an electric toothbrush yet? No, I haven't. I need to. I'll get you one. I need to get. I. 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 I um. I'll buy you one. <laughs> I'll present it to you in an episode. I really should. That makes me sound like I've got bad breath, though. No. You, like you buying it. <laughs> you know, like I always think that when I buy, like, um, if you buy someone like <laughs> perfume. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it, it's like sending a message Sorry. okay yeah no I don't have an electric tooth, toothbrush yet so yeah we did the hard line canyon got a few about that got um Ollie do you ever skip lunch to get more like laps in at a bike park absolutely <laughs> I I miss lunch a lot man <laughs> it's really dumb and then I get to the end of the day and I wonder why I feel like <laughs> useless it happens an awful lot yeah the uh the days are long and the great outdoors are uh the call is too strong. <laughs> Ads 0608. How do you get your riding mojo back? Seems to have lost that urge. Love it when I go out. Oh, it's tough on that ads. But we've spoke about it a lot, actually. It comes up a lot, that question, it does, doesn't, doesn't it? it? Yeah. Hey, for me, not just riding mojo, but mojo in general, just get around your friends if you can. Go out with a new group. Yeah, just that's that's what I'd say. And just honestly, like, don't overthink it. I think that's a big thing. Don't overthink it. Just go do something like... New, different. Yeah. Let's go rip some turns. There's nothing more fun than just whacking turns, as they say. No, it's true. I, I find it interesting. You can, like, if you, if you, like, sometimes less is more. And, like, sometimes I can go on a really long cross country ride where I literally only bang two turns. But those two turns that I bang are really good. So mm. you can do, I, I just try and do stuff different. I try and do, if I ever feel like, oh, I can't, really can't be bothered to go to the dirt jumps or whatever today. Yeah. I'll try and go for a cross country ride or a road ride or something but like yeah yeah. I, I feel for you if you lost your mo- mojo that sucks hey if this episode hasn't got back. your MTV mojo back dude yeah there's something wrong absolutely uh, what else we got 2 to 1 racing is Davey going to buy a new motor that rivals the O-Dub driveway <gasps> I can't beat the O-Dub driveway but you do have a new one do you have a new one don't know if we can talk about it yet Let's not. Should we not? Talk let's about not. It? I think we will be able to. Yeah, but it's just let's not wait worth a it. bit longer. It's not worth the no, no, telling no. off. So yeah, thanks. What Thank one you. stupid sporting event would you love to see at the Olympics? Toenail tiddlywinks. I mean, have you made that up? No, that, that's a that's a question from Two to One Racing is it again. Um, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I thought that was the a Olympics username. Is funny, isn't it? I, I never really know what what makes them decide. We Who should decides? go hard on Olympics this year? And just do like an Olympics podcast, but it's like alternate, and we'll 
Hey, isn't there the Olympics? Flag football. <laughs> no, isn't there? Is flag football in the Olympics? Is that this year? Flag oh football my is in God. The Olympics. I got to watch that. Watch Derek Henry just running through. Oh, people. mate, it's becoming <laughs> sports Eurovision, isn't it? A bit. You know what I mean? Flag football. <laughs> it's going to be so bad. Hey, it's a great question. I, th- is, I, I like that. Is frisbee in... golf in, in the Olympics? Oh. <laughs> it's not shit enough. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. Tono that one I'd put in is that, uh, it's called like uh, death diving. Oh, yeah. That one. Yeah. I'd put that in. Did you? Yeah. That'd be ridiculous, wouldn't it? I'd People doing that. pretending to be, be do belly flops. That's yeah. Basically belly it. flopping. Yeah. Belly flops. Tiddlywinks is good. Do you know one thing that's been coming up on my algorithm lately is like people sliding along on knee with knee pads on and it's called sliding. It's the most pathetic thing I've ever seen actually. It's really, it's just like one of those algorithm things. I think it's popular because people look at it like, what are you doing on the algorithm? Okay. You know, so, so, people, it, so, the, so the algorithm, it's like slipped through. So the it's, algorithm keeps recommending it because yeah, yeah you're like, what are you doing? Yeah. I don't know if anyone who's listening to this will have seen it. I've never seen I've, it. I've been sent it by a few people as well. That's probably why. Who knows? Yeah. Who knows? <laughs> Crazy to think. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think it's been a good episode. I think the plasterboard guy is going to be waiting. Yeah, you're right. Um, is the TRC long sleeve tee and riding jer- a riding jersey or just oh, a normal tee? It's just a normal tee. But yeah. it's 100% cotton, so you could probably ride in it. I love riding in a cotton one. Yeah, same. Like, I really I do. I wouldn't say yeah. it's not a riding tee. It's not like it's you know a bin bag or anything. But yeah. It's, it's good. Hopefully they've all sold out. Yeah, hopefully so. What's your dream three bike garage? No budget. I'm going to go for the Focus Jam Squared SL. I'm then going to have the Focus Jam because that's my favourite. And to be honest, I, th- I sound like such a sponsor's dream, but it's going to have to be the Focus Jam Squared. Nah, jump bike. Ooh, nice. Yeah, jump bike. You? Jam Squared SL. Don't have one, but I know it's good. It? I've just ridden the van. The van squared, yeah. Van. Yeah. Putting one of those in, just for some XC loops. Nice, man. Throwing that in there. I didn't even there. think of that, because that's new, in my, that's new in my actual garage, so. It's lovely. Oh, it's a delight. I haven't released it yet, though. Shh, be quiet. Okay. And then I'm going to go jump bike. Nice. I think that's a lovely way to wrap up the episode. Thanks, Davey. I've loved catching up. Me too. I've enjoyed it, man. Yeah. Thanks everyone out there for continuing to support the show. And um, we're trying. Peace and love. Like and subscribe. (laughs) We're trying. Please. (laughs) Mate, what an episode. Brilliant. I thought you were really great, Davey. Mate, and I thought you were even better. Thanks, dude. Better than normal. Oh, cheers. Hey, how about we tell our lovely podcast community to hit subscribe here. Yeah. Click on the video on Ollie's face. That's right. Click on the video on my face. Yeah. And follow us at the Ride Companion Instagram. They can like and comment as well. Please I'm gonna, do. I'm going to try and get this energy and I'm going to bring it into next week. Let's fast forward to next week's episode. Done. Done.